Well, today I wanted to talk about uh, some UK comics. I'm going to do a few videos on this. One about the Panini Marvel Special Edition comics, uh, but this one I wanted to start on the, the UK DC comics that basically just reprint the American stories. There's no unique UK comic strips in these, but um, being from the UK I do quite enjoy collecting the UK versions even though they're a few months behind America. So this is really for anyone else who collects them or any Americans who may find it interesting to see how these comics come out in the UK. Now DC Comics haven't been all that successful and they've never been able to compete with Marvel in the UK but um, originally Panini, who do all the Marvel reprints in the UK, got hold of the rights to do Batman comics and they started with Batman Legends. Now this is the only DC comic that Panini ever released under their special editions bracket and that started in 2003, November 2003 and this went on till about 2007, so it had a pretty good run for a UK comic. But then Titan Comics got the license to do DC, so they continued on from Panini's Batman Legends with Batman Legends Volume 2. And they kept the same format, they pretty much ripped off the format from Panini. Try and get a better shot of those. <clears throat> and uh, continued that. And about two or three months later, they then released a Superman Legends, which was the first Superman comic to come out in the UK in probably 10 years, I guess. And then another three months later, they released Justice League Legends. And then another three months later, they released DC Universe Presents Batman Superman. So in 2007, we got four different DC comics released in the UK which still wasn't quite up to par with Marvel, who um, I think that they've got six to eight different titles out in the UK under their collector's edition bracket, and if two or three maybe more um, more sort of slightly kiddified comics, the larger format comics as well. So they weren't doing quite as well as Marvel, but they, Titan really did give it a go with DC, but alas, DC has never really been able to compete with Marvel in the UK. I don't know if it's the same in America. But um, quite quickly, I mean, Justice League Legends lasted about 10 issues. DC Universe Presents Batman and Superman lasted about 7. And then they both got cancelled. Superman Legends went on for a little while longer. Maybe a year or two longer. But even that couldn't hold its own. And eventually evolved into DC Universe Presents. Which seemed like a bit of an amalgamation of Superman Legends and DC Universe Presents Batman Superman, but um, they didn't relaunch this as a new comic. They kept the, the title uh, number from the carried on from Superman Legends, which is kind of a shame because it would have been nice to have had an issue one of this. But anyway, Batman Legends was obviously still successful. I mean, Batman's always been popular, but recently, after, I don't know, 50 odd issues of volume two, They've now re-released that as purely Batman. It's no longer Batman Legends. Even though it's pretty much exactly the same comic, they've just revamped it to tie in with the release of the new Batman film, Dark Knight Rises. But the stories continue on from Batman Legends, exactly the same format, just starting from issue one again and a slightly different title. But as well as that, they've also released a second, well, actually a third Batman comic in the UK because there's also a Batman comic in the UK based on the um, new cartoon that's out, where well, it's been out for a year or two, I uh, can't remember what it's called now, I'm not that keen on it, and the comic's very aimed at children, so I haven't bothered to buy any issues of it. But with that as well, this is the third Batman title in the UK called Batman Dark Knight, once again to try and cash in on the popularity of the film now coming out. And uh, funnily enough though, this is a larger format comic, as you can see, if we put Batman on there, see these ones are the same size as American comics, but this uh, is more of a, a, a traditional UK size comic, which I, I kind of like because uh, you know, it just reminds me of my childhood when I used to get comics and they were all that size. But it, it does seem strange they've released this in a different format to their other DC collectors comics, especially as the stories in this um, are being 
marketed as, as darker and, and to reading it they are sort of the darker more violent Batman stories than the ones that appear in the regular Batman comic but um, I would have thought they would release the more adult stories in the more adult format comic rather than in the, this larger format but it'll be interesting to see how long it lasts I mean will, will the UK sustain two of these Batman comics for very long. I'll be surprised really if this does last all that long, maybe a year. But uh, it is nice to, to have a few more DC comics in the UK. So at the minute, DC fans in the UK have just got Batman, DC Universe Presents and Batman The Dark Knight. Now I'm going to do a follow-up video to this about the Marvel comics and that there are quite a few more Marvel comics in the UK than DC. But um, hopefully this will be of interest to someone. I'm sure there must be some people who, are, who collect the UK issues. So, <clears throat> thanks for watching.